Hi lovelies, it's Tina from Lovely Make Customs and it is finally here you guys, my contemporary art tumbler tutorial. I've got so many requests on how to do this cup and I'm so excited I can share with you guys. So if you wanna learn how to do this technique, just keep on watching. So I already prepped and sanded my cup um, and I spray painted with um, Rust-Oleum Deep Forest. It's a satin spray paint, I absolutely love this color. Um, and I'm using my needle tip glue bottle that I got from Amazon, I will have that linked. And this gold glitter is Gold Member from PT Alva Glitters and it's one of my favorite golds, like it's so pretty. So now I'm just coming in and as you can see, I'm just going back and forth with my needle tip glue bottle almost like I'm scribbling. Like if you had a pencil and some paper and you were like a toddler or something, you just like scribble back and forth. That's pretty much what I'm doing. Super easy, super simple. You don't want your lines too, too thin and too far apart. You want them kind of close together so that way you can get that clean look with your glitter. You want to make sure you're getting good coverage over your glue so you don't have any like empty spots or like um not enough coverage but um i normally get really good coverage when i'm using peachy alba glitters anyway really good glitter really good coverage so you're just gonna sporadically place your lines make sure they are straight because you don't want any curved lines or anything because that will change the whole look of the tumbler but if you do get any curved lines you can always go in with some of the next steps that we're gonna be that i'm gonna be showing and um you can like cover up those little accidents that you make. But see here, I'm just scribbling and sporadically placing my lines, leaving some of that spray painted base exposed. So that way you can still see that color popping through. So I'm just gonna repeat this all over the cup until I get my desired look that I'm going for. Um, like I said before, this is so, so easy, guys. Once you get this down, you're pretty much going to want to do this on everything because that's how I feel right now. Once I got it down, I was like, okay, I'm putting this on everything. I'm going to do so many different color combinations and all that. Super fun, cute design to be working with. All right, so you're gonna let that dry for 30 minutes to an hour, brush off any excess glitter, and then seal it with two times Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss Spray. And this is what it should be looking like right now. I went ahead and glittered my bottom, just so that um, that way I won't have like any issues around the bottom rim when I'm sanding and accidentally sand too much and sand off some of that spray paint. But um, I'm coming in with my tacket over and over and I'm using a foam paintbrush. I'm dabbing it on the glitter and smoothing it on the spray paint base. Um, so that way I can get good coverage over my glitter and make sure I'm not missing any spots. But you don't wanna use too much, just a little goes a long way as you smooth it down. And as you can see me doing, I'm just like doing a small little line and just like smoothing that down the cup.
I did want to mention like while I was using the fo these foils, they were flying around everywhere. Like once everything was dry and I started to brush it off, it was flying everywhere in like small little pieces. It got all over me, my hair, my desk, like it made a mess out of everything. Um, as you can see, like where I was applying my foil, like at the bottom, there's some bald spots because my tacket wasn't completely dry yet. So I'm going to go back in my heat gun and reapply foil over that spot. And you're going to see like it sticks and I don't have any issues with that. All right, so once I got my desired look of my foils, this is what I'm working with right now. And I absolutely love this. Yes, I do. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this technique and I absolutely love it. All right, so I had grabbed the wrong thing. I was supposed to come in with my brass patina paint, but I grabbed my copper liquid mica, mica from the Crystalite Company. So um, as I'm brushing this on, as I'm brushing this on, you can see it's very thin. Um, I, would, I should have used my patina brass, which is what I normally use for my cups, but um, I was distracted and I grabbed the first thing. So, and I didn't think to check. So this is what we're working with right now. So basically with your paint color that you decide to use, you're just gonna accent the foil so since the foil is shiny and the paint is not as shiny as the foil you're just going to go in and do like small little strokes next to the foil so that way you can get that depth that you're looking for and it's going to add like a super cute effect once you add your final paint color which i'm going to be coming in with black and you'll see that in a minute but um so yeah basically you're just going to go around sporadically accenting your foils to your desired liking. So before going on to our final step, you're gonna let your paint dry completely. So now I'm coming in with this black gloss from Crystal Like It's a water-based water, water -based polyurethane. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. It is amazing. It's super, super pigmented, like super black. Um, 
So I'm just going to take my foam paintbrush again and just like start accenting the foil and the paint and the glitter, but still leaving some of my spray painted base showing so that way we can also have that color peeking through. I did want to say like if you use too much of this um, water based um, black gloss, it will start to run down your cup. You don't want to use too much. That's why I'm just using my foam paintbrush and I'm dabbing it on instead of like, um, I'm dabbing and smoothing it on instead of just like adding too much. I would rather have too little at first than to have too much because you can always add more, and, but you can't take away. Um, you will see later on in the clip that I do start to get drips, but I fix those and I will show y'all how to fix those once it gets to that point. All right, you can see right here, I got a drip, but look, I'm just gonna smooth that out, take off some of that extra paint, and look, completely gone. And there's another one here, I'm gonna just do the same thing and just smooth that out really quick. And there we have no issues. And it still came out how I liked and absolutely loved how it came out. Once I was done with my paints, this is what I got. I absolutely love how this is turning out, y'all. I know I said it so many times, but I'm just, I'm obsessed with this, you guys. I'm so obsessed. But um, you're gonna let your paints dry for three hours, which is my preference. You don't have to. You can like check and see when it's dry, but that's my preference. And then I went in and I sealed three times with the Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss Spray because I did not want any movement from my glitter at all. I did not want one glitter out of place. So once that's sealed and dry, you can come in with your first coat of epoxy. I'm using a little extra ink epoxy, which I absolutely loved since I found it. Haven't used any other epoxy brand. Um, I'm using about 30 mLs just because I want to do like a flood coat. I am using a 22 ounce slim. So this cup does have a taper. But um, I, I'm just smoothing my epoxy on and getting the best coverage I can and making sure I don't miss any spots. So after my first coat of epoxy dried for about six to eight hours, I came in with my second coat, which was 20 mLs, and I just smoothed that all over my cup, and then I let that dry for six to eight hours, and then I came in with my final and third coat, and I let that sit and dry for three days before I actually touched it. Um, I did sand between the second and third layer just to get it completely smooth, but this is the end result, guys, and I'm loving it. 
Here is the final look at the completed tumbler. This is my personal cup, so I'm in love with it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get alerts on when I upload new videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Be sure to follow Lovely Made Customs on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more content.